Braga, located in the north of Portugal, is the oldest city in Portugal and the third largest in the country and is known for its rich history, cultural attractions and natural beauty. Now we're going to see the Bon Jesus du Monde, Sete Braga and Teatro Circo. The city is full of religious landmarks and has a thriving arts and culture scene, museums, galleries, theaters and a number of festivals and events. Let's see one festival, the Celta. Esta voz que grita é aí que eu quero estar. Essa valente contra o tempo que gira o relógio da torre da Sé. The Sede Braga, or Braga Cathedral, is a Roman Catholic church, also known as the Cathedral of Santa Maria, is one of the oldest Christian temples in Portugal, it had various renovations and expansions to the history. For you. It's all a mix of architecture and styles. Like your sister go crazy about it. Inside Braga Cathedral, you can see a mix of architectural styles and decorative elements. The main nave is lined with chapels, each with its own unique decoration and artwork. I'm not gonna put your coins. When we visit any church, we always light some candles. No exception, this one. We attend the cathedral during the summer. There is a lot of weddings and ceremonies during this period. You can hear the music. We catch the musicians doing a rehearsal for the live event. There is a tour in English. The tiles and the hand paintings are made in the 18th century and they represent scenes of the life of St. Uh -huh. Yes, the tiles were restored two summers ago, but they keep the original. The sacristy contains a collection of religious artifacts and art. Uh, if it's still used, no, no, this is not used since the uh, 20th century. Oh, we have a new one. And it strikes at 3 o'clock because it's the hour when Christ died. The altar is an elaborate Baroque structure adorned with gold leaf and sculptures. It also has a beautiful organ. The decoration has demons downstairs. So the demons are downstairs because you see like it looks like dragon faces. And then this is the art. Then that's the sky. The city's old town is particularly notable for its narrow, cobblestone streets lined with colorful buildings and terraced houses. Many of the streets in the old town are pedestrianized, making them a great place to stroll and take in the sights and sounds of the city. We catch the World Dance Championships. <laughs> That was cool. And because we were angry, we went to this restaurant, Various Tempos. It's really nice and it has a very quirky decoration. Uh, green vegetables cook. Right. And that's Algarve, where we were before. After this meal, we went to visit the Bon Jesus de Braga. Bom Jesus du Monte confirms its vocation to raise humanity to its sublimity. Whether led by faith or simple artistic curiosity, visitors are inevitably led to a level that transcends its own existence. Just one small detail, but you see this coat of arms with seven castles. It belongs to Dom Rodrigo de Moretel. He was the Archbishop of Braga at the time. And you're going to see the reference to his coat of arms all over the place. He was, interestingly, a very small man, 123 meters, and he used high heels to get to the altar. Small land that left a big mark and is the mastermind behind the Bon Jesus, making it a sacred way. The 19 chapels and the way in the stairs and the sense chairs, this was all designed by this man. So in the chapels you see images of Christ, from the Christ suffering on the cross, dying, coming back to life. The sacred way it was called New Jerusalem, 
that's why you see this part saying New Jerusalem at the time. And interestingly, in the entrance you got a fountain with the sun and the moon that symbolizes the journey from the darkness to the light. That he pretended with his spiritual and journey. And going up the stairs. Never ending stairs. <laughs> New post, next post. Next there. Along the stairs, you're going to see these chapels that mark events on the life of Christ. This fountain is a reference to the goddess Diana. There were more references, but they were eliminated. And we arrive to Pilatus' balcony. Praga, bon Jesus. I can see behind me. Probably the sun. We got two chapels with the fall of Christ. Christ in the cross. Madonna. Here, where art achieves a perfect marriage with nature, humanity reaches its fullness as the good Jesus as heritage for all mankind, status that before being it undoubtedly was. There's eight fountains in total, but the first five are to the subject of the senses. Clean the senses before your spiritual journey starts. You can identify each sense by seeing where the water comes up. You can get a great picture in the place and a great view to the city, but remember this is spiritual journey. The stairway of the three virtues with 93 steps. You have three virtues represented as fountains, faith, hope, and charity. And here you guys faith represented with a cross. Hope. That's a Noe arc, but I didn't film. And charity represented with love. In the way up, you have allegorical statues, chapels, and many different details build a visual story that the pilgrims absorb as they climb up the slope, ideally on their knees. And we arrive to the Trade Moises, where the church is located. You guys surrounding beautiful garden, there is two more chapels with scenes of Christ's life. One where they elevate him from the floor, and the Chapel of the Tears from a scene of his death. Many churches are built on high ground, and many are adorned with images of mountains. The sanctuary of Bom Jesus do Monte in Braga, Portugal, for example, is built on a hilltop, and the stairway of the five senses and stairway of the three virtues that leads to the sanctuary symbolizes the spiritual journey that one takes to reach the sanctuary. Oh, she's just going for a walk. She still can enjoy the gardens and the beautiful nature that surrounds the place. Quite interesting, this lake. I have no idea what that means. Pretty strange statue. We have this fake cave and more gardens in the top. Now, this place is full of legends. If a girl wants to get married quickly, it just needs to go around the statue three times in silence. Will it work? I don't know. The funicular is a popular tourist attraction and a convenient way for visitors to reach the sanctuary if you cannot use the stairs. The funicular was built in 1882 and was powered by water contra weights. The funicular ride is relatively short, but it offers a unique perspective on the hill and the sanctuary as you ascend is actually the oldest still in service in the world using a system contra balance of water. Praga, city of multiculture, good music, Great places to see, great food, and great people. And I have to say, it gives you a beautiful view. And I'll leave you with more music.